Hello everyone, today I'm going through this castle that I built. It's not really a castle yet, but it's kind of a tower that I have so far. So I'm just going to go through it. I'm obviously building this in creative, but as you can see, this lever right here triggers this door to open and close. So we're just going to open that right now. Once we're inside, we can press this lever to close half the door and this one to close the other half. So yeah, so this is the inside of the castle so far. We pretty much have some diamond floors. We put some glass over the diamond. And you know, I kind of like the design of this here. As you can see right here, there are some holes in the wall. These are for uh, shooting things out of them. So it's basically for defense. And yeah, they're all over on the inside. So yeah, we're going to go up here soon. But first, uh, I'm going to go down to the dungeon, show you all what's in the dungeon. So this is the dungeon right here. This is where uh, the worst prisoners uh, in this kingdom go. Now, there's not a kingdom yet. I'm going to build a kingdom around the castle. And the castle's not even close to being done yet. This is just one tower of it. So, yes, yeah, so these are some villagers that committed some sort of terrible crime. And they're basically locked in jail. They have this iron door. And as you can see, there's no button or lever. Uh, because they have a life sentence. This will never need to be opened. So... If you go up here, this is where you can feed them. It's a tiny little hole right here. Uh, they can't escape through this. So yeah, that's kind of uh, what I had. This is where their food is. And you might be wondering why there's grass and whatnot here. The reason that's there is because it's like the real world. It's like nature. It's like freedom. So these uh, criminals uh, just have to look at what they're missing out on. Missing out on uh, going outside again. So it's kind of there to show them what they could have had if they uh, didn't commit terrible crimes. So we're going to go back up here. Actually, there's one more thing here I want to show y'all. Because some of you might be wondering what this is right here. This, basically, the only reason this exists is because of redstone. So that lever I pressed earlier to open the door, that goes th from here to these two sides. And then... They go into the mini towers on the side of this tower. So basically, it triggers a sticky piston that's connected to a slime block that I believe is connected to another st sticky piston that's connected to redstone or something like that. I don't know exactly the mechanics. I'm not breaking it again. It took me forever to figure out how to do this because I'm terrible at redstone. But there's basically... A mechanic put in place here with a bunch of sticky pistons to make sure it opens and closes and it took me like 30 minutes straight of getting it to work so anyway right here is where you go up here so there's more holes here this is the front of the castle the part that needs to be protected most so there are some areas here that you can shoot out of so yeah and then you can go through here this is kind of like a little walkway you might be wondering what this thing is over here this is basically like a warning area so everyone that's down here getting ready to fight uh, if a bunch of people are coming this way they can see them and you just go up here and just let everyone know this is kind of like the center of attention right here if you like look at it it kind of looks like whoever's up here has something important uh, to warn everyone about so we can go through here and this is just more areas that you can shoot out of from different towers so yeah uh, this is a couple of diamond swords uh some shields some arrows there all right so then we go up here and up here this is where all the guards left now there's a bunch of beds for them it's kind of like a giant dorm room with like 32 beds and i think there's exactly 32 so yeah as you can see this right here is where all the guards will live while they're protecting the castle. So yeah, this is a little bed. This is another bed. More beds here. And you can even, you know, for more room, I even made this section up here. So you can go up here. Some more beds up here. Then there are other rooms right here. So this room right here is called the weapon room. This has some weapons. So yeah, so you use some arrows and then there's some 
potions, some armor, nothing in there. Some endo pearl here, some food. I don't think these chests have been filled yet. I haven't filled them with anything, but uh, right here is human resources. Yes, I built an HR department in this uh, tower. Uh, basically, when people hear that work for the king and that protect this tower right here uh, they get paid through here so this is a little box that they put their uh, schedules in and then the one person who will work here will just uh, give them their money and gold or diamond or whatever uh, this right here is just a book of laws kingdom laws basically i just put it there for now then there's the locker. This is where uh, people can keep their stuff. So if the guards bring anything, they can just have a treasure chest to keep all their stuff in, I guess. So yeah, and I think this is... I think I went through everything here. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I'm just going to leave now and go up here. So right here, this is basically the top of the tower. This is where the most uh, defense will happen. So, as you can see, you can stand behind here. You can shoot arrows from here. This is basically what this area is for. There's a, la a ladder here. I built, like, on the back of the castle, and this is only for, like, the back. The other sides don't have this. But basically, this is just another level of protection, pretty much. So, more people can stand down here and... Even more people can be up here as well. And then right here, this is a bunch of resources and stuff. Not all the chests are full, but the ones that are have a lot of stuff in them. So this is where a bunch of armor is. This right here has some more weapons. This area is just filled with swords. There's some tridents here, some axes, some crossbows. There's a one, I think it's this one right here that has food in it. But yeah, most of these aren't full yet. So yeah, so... This is basically the castle from the front, and this is basically g gonna be like the start of a very large castle that I'm gonna build in creative mode in Minecraft. So yeah, this is kind of all I have so far. So anyway, uh, that's it for this video. If you guys like this and you want to see me progressively build this castle, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. I'm probably gonna upload once a week. I plan on making this like a ginormous castle in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and peace out.